The new controller was there with pillager number 10, Frita, Thomas, and Vex number 38. He was very concerned. Pillager number 10, did you find pillager number 1 back to life? Yes, but he looked scary when I found this diesel. Hmm, I understand. Pillager number 1 is faceless and dead. You heard him. He told me to take this pillager to the scrap yards. Thomas and Vex number 38, you need odd working engines, and I'm proud of you both. And pillager number 10, you need a really useful diesel. Thank you. But what about Frida? And Frida, I forgot you. You need a really useful engine for defeating the Archivage Diesel and Pillager number one, and I'm proud of you. Thank you. Hey new controller, did you know that I can blow up a balloon? Really? Engines can't do all of this, Frida. Oh yes I can, I promise that I can blow it up, I can prove to you that I can blow up an actual balloon. Uh, thank you for tying up my balloon. Hey pillager number 10, are you going back to the tide mouth sheds? Yes Thomas, I'll miss you, goodbye. I'll miss you too. Later at night at the Tipmouth Sheds, Frida was feeling sad. She felt sad because the new controller told Pillager number 10 should leave to become a spare engine till 2029. Pillager number 10, am I allowed to go back to the Tidmouth Sheds any time? Frida told them sadly. Oh, you're allowed to come back here any time. Christian said comfortably. Are you leaving to go back to the Vicar Stone Sheds with the other engines, Frida? Vindicator number 23 asked. Yes, but there are some other engines from the Great Race back in 2016. What are their names? Perry said to Frida. Well, Perry. They're from different countries, and I can't remember what their names are. Except for two. Excuse me, Frida. If I'm not around, and I'm somewhere as a spare engine, you can find me. Okay? Then Frida agreed to pillager number 10. The end. <laughs>